So the appointments of secretaries to cabinet members, advisors to ministers, deputy ministers have now, I think, uh, dominated the news because a lot of red shirt people have been appointed to those posts. Yes, and more than 3D names now. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the family names have got promoted mm -hmm. to the political post. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're all well known red shirt uh, leaders? Yes, uh, some of them are provincial lecture leaders, mm -hmm. some of them have been well known on the stage mm -hmm. during mm -hmm. last year protests. Yes. Mm -hmm. and some of them are just um, are well known advocates of the Richard movement. So it's quite controversial. Right. Um, uh, some, some of them also have a lot of uh, legal cases on their back as well. Ah. So uh, this, uh, in, 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 in that sense, it's quite controversial mm -hmm. because you have people who have legal problems mm -hmm. coming to uh, to serve in the political positions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any official explanation from the Prime Minister as to why mm -hmm. has this happened? Uh, she said she doesn't look into any color mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, making this appointment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, he said a lot of lecture people are capable mm -hmm. persons mm -hmm. who should not be overlooked when mm -hmm. she made the appointment. Mm -hmm. Which I agree. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it makes logical sense for the Thai government to mm -hmm. to bring on their supporters. Because after the all, positions. the red shirt people were a very important factor in the campaigning for Pua Thai Party. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Because in fact, the red shirts were the cheerleaders for the Pua Thai Party. Mm -hmm. They're the main supporters. Mm -hmm. But then those who uh, are standing trials or have been charged with you know serious. Uh, accusations, uh, official charges, uh, may be more difficult to explain. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I agree with uh, bringing in supporters to serve with you mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you will not want to uh, make your enemies your <laughs> advisors or secretaries. Yes, uh -huh. but uh, uh, I see a little bit of a problem mm -hmm. with making the people with the legal trouble mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. into the positions. Mm -hmm. uh, you. Uh, as for the people who have been taking part in the leadership, uh, at least I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. People have the right to exercise mm -hmm. their political position. Mm -hmm. But the, <laughs> let me say, mm -hmm. the, the only thing that government has to be aware of is that they should, they may not want to fall into the same trap as mm -hmm. the Abyssid government. Mm -hmm. Could Abyssid has, uh, 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 Abyssid came to power making the same pressure as Kun Ying Lak about yes. reconciliation. Yes. But uh, he failed. What, what he failed was uh, trying to make some links between mm -hmm. the government and the other side. Yeah. So Kun Ying Lak, by appointing so many red shirts mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, in the government, mm -hmm. she may be uh, falling into the same trap because uh, mm -hmm. in uh, on one hand, she wants reconciliation. Yeah. Right? On the other hand, she doesn't have any link mm -hmm. between her government and the other side. That's right, but you don't expect uh, you love to appoint ye yellow shirts to be her uh, no, advisors uh, in the cabinet. Right, that, that, that would be uh, beyond imagination. Mm -hmm. uh, but somehow, uh, having too many red shirts in mm -hmm. the government mm -hmm. may uh, blur mm -hmm. her uh, agenda or whatever. Yeah, it could. Or yeah, I could invite criticism that if she is serious about national reconciliation, then appointing so many hardcore red shirt leaders to important political positions uh, would not send the right signal. Yes, maybe Ku Jing Lak was thinking that, okay, uh, I have made a cabinet line up without mm -hmm. any red shirt in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. politically, it's understandable yes. to to, to reward mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. political allies. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, I understand that. The only mm -hmm. concern is that it's just, just too many of them <laughs> yeah. at the moment. Also, for her, her own political survival, if she did not appoint red shirts to some of these political positions, then her government could be in trouble because yes. the red shirt people will start uh, demanding that their support be rewarded one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. So it's not easy for Kun Ying Lak. At, at the same time, it's going to be very controversial and a lot of questions about national reconciliation, 
her determination to get all factions in the gov uh, country together, mm -hmm. trying to forget the past, trying to forge ahead without any baggage of the past will become even more difficult now.